Hello, crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Al. And welcome, or maybe welcome back, to my channel. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what came in my P.O. box for the month. Sometimes it's a sheet load card, sometimes it's a just because card, and today, I think we might have a couple early birthday presents. If you're ever interested in sending me a card, my P.O. box is at the bottom of the description box below. If you would like to show us your sheet load, I do have an updated guidelines video that talks about the way you can share here online and by sending in a card for this end of the month video. This is always one of my favorite videos of the month and I hope that it is yours too. Let's go ahead and open this mail. Up first is a cute St. Patrick's Day card from Ann T. of Tennessee. She used the February 2024 sheet load for her card layout. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin used the new March 2024 sheet load of cards for her cute little birdie hello. Alice R. from Colorado is also featuring some birds on her card this month. I like how she has moved up the focal and sentiment area so you could see more of that pretty bird background pattern paper. Chandra Y. of Mississippi sent in a beautiful spring card using the March 2024 sheet load of cards. You might recognize that name because Chandra was our guest artist for March 2024. Make sure if you don't already subscribe to her channel to run over and do that once you're done here. I will have her channel linked in the description box below. Tracy G. from Kansas sent in this next example using March 2024. Hers is a fun tropical retirement theme. It makes me want to go on vacation. How about you? Susie N. from Iowa sent in this beautiful sunflower and bee themed card. I love the colors and you can't tell on camera but she has added some textured glossy accents to the center of those sunflowers. Beth J. from Florida sent me this beautiful poppy thank you card. She actually used a stencil she won during one of the channel member lives to create it. It turned out so beautiful. And look, she sent me some fun rainbow envelope seals to use on the next cards I send out. And speaking of channel member live, I hope those of you who are die cut and paper trimmer level members will be able to join me for this afternoon's channel member live, which is the choose your own adventure card making theme. To get more information, check out the membership tab, which I'll link in the description box below. Next up is a beautiful Easter card from Barb S. of Florida. Not only did she send me this beautiful card, but I also got a nice note on that fun stationery. I just had to share the header so you could see it. Thanks, Barb, for making me smile about my mom. I definitely am missing her right now. Easter was always one of her favorites, and many times she would come spend it with us. Now it's time to open my first box of the month. This is from Jody B. of Washington. I did get a heads up it was coming because I got an email notice, but I was super excited to be able to open it up and share it with you. Here's a look at what it looked like coming out of the packaging, and it's going to be a fun holder for one of my special tools. I love that it has the non-stick or the non-skid pads on the bottom. And look, you guys, it holds my ATG gun, and the pink matches it perfectly. Thank you so much, Jody. I'm going to get lots of use out of this, and I'll always think about you when I'm using it. The next box is from Helga T. of the Netherlands, and I also had a heads up that this would be coming, but I cannot wait to open it and share with you all of the contents. Oh my goodness, Helga, thank you so much. I just finished looking through everything, and I'm going to have so much fun. 
for viewers, I thought it might be easier to kind of show you what I got with a quick little video because there was lots of different goodies. So I've kind of separated them by product type and I thought we would go through them. First up is a set of Gummy Pan dies. It's kind of like an underwater treasure chest theme. There's some probably seaweed, little bubbles, teeny tiny seashells. I love those. Those make a cute shaker card. A treasure chest with some gold you can put in there. And then a little um, note in a bottle here. So cute. And to go with kind of that under the water theme is a card shape die and it has a coral border. Not the color coral, but like the sea coral. There are shells and fish. So super pretty. And there's also this acorn and leaves cutting, embossing, and debossing stencil, it says. Um, it's a die, and you can see that the leaves will be kind of pressed in, and then there's some acorns. Lots of super fun stamps. First up is this cute little frog. And she must know that I like to craft with butterflies. I got two butterfly stamps here. One is more of like a grungy look, and then some pretty ones over here. And then I'm also a huge fan of sentiment dies with coordinating sentiments. And there's a um, you and hi. And here's like happy birthday to you. I was just thinking about you. Over here, hi, how are you doing? Hi, everything okay? I can tell these are gonna come in super handy. Next up is a clear floral background stamps. That's gonna make some gorgeous cards. And then finally are some little ticket stamps with different sayings and then a little ticket die to go with it. If you've been around my channel long, you know that I love stencils. So she sent me quite a few. This first one is little bees. This next one is a fun kind of geometric circle shape. And I'm wondering, both of these had some kind of um, hole thing down here. I'm wondering if on this one especially, you kind of like rotate it so you get a different look as you go around. Then there's a fun kind of slimline bubble stencil. This one is layered flowers. Look at that, gorgeous. This one's super fun. You can stencil a circle and then there's different designs you can put on that. Here are some grunge ones for kind of mixed media. And this last one is little froggy hand prints, which you know I got that frog stamp, so this would probably go well together. It's a stencil, but then there's also a 3D embossing folder. Super fun. And finally, but certainly not least, were just some random things that I thought I would show you. She sent me a new jewel picker to try. This next package is sheets of vellum, and I can tell there's some printing on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. I think most of you know that I'm a big fan of vellum. These are gonna be so fun to use. And finally, something kind of non-card. It looks like this is a template to create door holders. I think maybe the first one I need to make is for my basement door where I do my recording, that when I shut it, I can let people know that I'm on air and not to come disturb me. <laughs> let me know what you might make a door hanger for. Helga, thanks so much again for this fun, crafty goodness. Thank you so much for everyone who took the time to send in a card or a wonderful gift. I am already thinking that my birthday month is going to be off to a great start. Until my next video, which is a brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.